What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today is our final rebuild on NBA 2K19. So yeah, I decided not to do 15 team part 2. I thought it just kind of threw the video together. It didn't really go how I wanted it to and I know some of you guys may have liked it but I decided instead of doing that I'm going to do something I haven't even done on NBA 2K19 and I've you know had all year to do it. It's a fantasy draft. But basically, I'm not even going to be picking the team. I'm going to let the computer pick, and I'm going to try to go at least maybe... No, actually, I'm not going to put that much pressure on myself. I was going to try to go A2-0, no, but I'm not going to even try to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip through uh, whatever team. I don't know what team we're going to get, but before we get in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. We're going to be grinding. We already have been grinding like every day. I haven't missed an upload since like May something. Just imagine when 2K20 comes out. I've been uploading this game like crazy while this game has been on its deathbed. Imagine when 2K20 comes out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and see who we land on. And we'll, they're basically just going to be the jersey though. So we get the Kings. All right, so we get the Kings. Hopefully they have a high pick. I'm not sure if they will, but uh, they have the third pick. Awesome. So I'm going to simulate this draft. And I'm just going to go ahead and let the computer see what they get. And then we'll just try to win a championship in three seasons. I'm only going to give myself three seasons. So... Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see what kind of, you know, team the computer drafted. But let's see what we got. Let's uh, hopefully we got... Actually, no, this is not what I'm going to do. Exit draft. And then let's let this load. And then we can look at our roster and see how uh, we can do. So we're going to load the right draft class, of course. Actually, yeah, no, we are going to load the right draft class. I don't know why what I was thinking for a second. But moment of truth. We had... Okay, so we got LeBron James... Marvin Bagley, DeMarcus Cousins, Jakob Pertl, Mikael Bridge. I already don't like this team, if I'm completely honest with you. I have LeBron James. That's good. So, I basically, I'm just going to build this team around LeBron. So, basically, that's my thing. I'm just going to go ahead and get a bunch of shooters along, around LeBron James is, is basically what I'm thinking. So, uh, I mean, I think I might trade Marvin Bagley pretty early here. because, Or I could just simulate this season and just see how this team does. Let's just see what the contract situation is looking like because I think that might be the move. I think I might just let these some of these guys develop. I might trade Cousins right now and Jakob Pertl. Wow, we have a lot of young players though. I'm not going to lie. Freaking Cork Maz. Uh, so I think I hopefully have three G League spots that I can use. Wow, man. We have a ton. But hopefully we can use three G League spots is basically what I'm trying to say. So let's go. Miles Bridges. Brandon Clark. Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, let's try to get Corver. Let's get Corver here. Do we have another free agent spot? Because I will get... Okay, no, we can't. Okay, so I think we're only going to send one more player to the G League. Do I want to send Brandon Clark or Markel Fultz there? I guess I might send Markel Fultz there because I don't think I can send Brandon Clark there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, actually, no, I can't. So basically, I think I'm going to trade Boogie Cousins right now. I think that makes sense to you know do that because he's, he's already injured, basically. So he's not going to play in real life, but that's fine. We're not going to deal with it. I'm not going to go through and make all the injuries right. I just don't feel like it at this moment. I don't think it's that important. So let's just see what we can get for DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, Buddy Heald. Almost like literally the perfect fit next to LeBron James. Someone that will just spot up and shoot, which is what I'm thinking. We're going to bring Buddy Heald back to Sacramento. So I think that's probably the best case scenario. So welcome back, Buddy Heald. So we got Buddy Heald. So that should be a nice pickup. So uh, LeBron James and Buddy Heald is basically how it's going to be. Marvin Bagley is going to develop too, but he's probably not going to stick around. Jakob Pertl is fine as a starting center, and our, you know, bench is kind of bad, but that's all right. So we're just going to see how this first season goes, and then when we get into the offseason, I'm going to just try to build the perfect team around LeBron James. At the end of the season, we did go 41-41, but that was not good enough to make the playoffs. But you know what? That's okay, because I'm about to put the perfect team around my man, LeBron James, who averaged 21 points. Definitely think we should be able to get more out of LeBron, and obviously he is getting up there in age, but... None of the, none of the, nevertheless, which is what I was trying to say, we should be fine. So, first thing is first. I think the Kings have their first round pick, but I never know with this game anymore. Uh, but I can't, you know, check yet. So, let's just see what we got. So, we uh, actually, we don't. The Celtics have it, which that's fine. I don't know if that's true in real life, but I'm too lazy to go look, so I probably won't. But we're going to go ahead and get Randy Martin, sign him up. I'm going to go ahead and fire Luke Walton and get Trent Peterson, I guess. We'll sign him up, and then we'll get a good head scout, I guess. I don't know how important that is, but we'll do it nonetheless. So, now, nevertheless, I keep saying nonetheless, guys. I don't know why, but we have three second-round picks. So, basically, I'm going to try to use those second-round picks to my advantage. I'm going to offer two early ones, and Brandon Clark. Brandon Clark's only a two-star rating. 
So it's not the best, but Willie Colley Stein, Gorgie Dang, Patton, Gibson. I'm just trying to find players that will fit around LeBron and, you know, that are around the same age is basically what I'm going to try to do as we go through this. But we have three second round picks. I guess I could package them and try to get a first, maybe. Uh, what am I doing? Leave that. I don't even know what that is. And I've had this game for uh, as long as you guys have. So uh, let's go get a first rounder. Um, let's go 17th from the Washington Wizards. Nope. Okay. How about a future first with yeah okay so we get the 17th pick i don't know why i just made that trade if i'm completely honest with you but i did it so we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it but now with the 17th pick jd mcdaniels we're gonna go ahead and draft him out of duke he'll be another uh nice uh prospect we can trade so i guess it was kind of worth it in a way not really but 76 so yeah i'm cool with it now we're gonna go ahead and sign jay mcdaniels player options we're gonna sign miles bridges back and then buddy healed will be a free agent uh and yakaporta will be too as well we should have plenty of money though because we had a lot of rookie contracts um and drummond is about to be free agent so this free agency pool might be a little different than usual which is going to be fun actually because that's something i haven't had in a while but we're going to renounce uh d'anthony melton actually we do have quite a bit of money tied into some players lebron's obviously taking the majority of it but i would assume we would have a lot more cap space than just that but i don't know man so let me go look at free agency real quick before i go too far so Drummond's looking like the only free agent, I guess, that's different. Eric Gordon's here as well. He did just get an extension for life, but that's all right. Uh, Cousins. So nothing really in the... Obviously, there's some free agents that I could get that would be fine and all. But I'm going to try to get... I'm going to get Buddy Heald back, of course, as well. But I'm going to try to get some players that can just shoot the three around LeBron James. That's my initial thought. So let's go Mark Hill Fultz and, a, and uh, let's offer Jay McDaniels, who we just drafted. So let's see... What this could get me hopefully we can get somebody that's gonna fit nicely john ja morant uh and seth curry i've gotten john ja morant a lot so i won't do that wendell josh richardson brogdon malcolm brogdon actually might be a nice fit next to lebron but i don't know if i want to spend that much money on brogdon aaron gordon derrick rose lamello tobias harris and mo bamba tobias harris actually would be a perfect fit as well michael porter jr stephen adams gary harris lavert Jaron Jackson Jr., Jamal Murray, Ross. We got Jamal Murray and Josh Jackson, uh, Andrew Wiggins, and Larry Markkinen. So, uh, Brogdon or Tobias Harris is basically what I'm looking at. We have Mo, we do get Mo Bamba out of this trade though, so I think I might do this because Mo Bamba is gonna have some nice trade value. So we're gonna grab Tobias Harris from the Knicks, and uh, yes, his uh, contract is somewhat huge, but he's gonna be a nice fit next to LeBron. He should be like almost a perfect fit because tobias harris is known to kind of be kind of a spot-up shooter but now that we have tobias harris we can actually move lebron james to point guard now i think about it my tobias harris back to small four that is an option so we might look at that let's go uh, marvin bagley and yeah let's just do marvin bagley straight up let's see what this could get me hopefully something good hopefully something good so malik monk markinen uh killian hayes kobe white jeremy grant kelly olenek Jer allen Tyler Harrow. Tyler Harrow, you know, would be a decent fit, but I don't know. Uh, John Collins is not really a spot-up guy, in my opinion, but like Monk, Laurie Markkinen. Markkinen, you know who I really want, though, who would, like, just make perfect sex, perfect sense is uh, Kyle, or Clay Thompson, if I can find it. Wait, wait, I got to find him. He's not on the Warriors. I don't know why I thought I was going to just get him from the Warriors. Let's just see if I can get Clay. I think Clay would be perfect fit, obviously. Covington wouldn't be bad either. Clay Thompson, where are you, Clay? Wow, even Chris Paul and James Harden are back. Whoa, they got Kevin Love too. That's pretty good. If I can find Clay somewhere, that would be great. Booker, uh, Kuzma, Ben Simmons. I'm just not. Where is. I should just do Player Finder. This probably would have been a lot faster, but I'm too committed. So Clay is on the 76ers. We should be able to get Clay, I think. Actually, he is quite a bit. All right, so Marvin Bagley will need 16 more million dollars in the trade. So. We actually might not be able to afford Clay, believe it or not. Mo Bamba, need 10 more million dollars. Is there anybody that's Swanigan's making seven more million? Uh, Miles Bridges, we need 2.4 million. Is there anybody? Wow, dude, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this trade. Let's see if they'll do this in a first, I guess. Let's see if they'll. Whoa, not LeBron. Offer a first for Clay? No. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna be kind of impossible to get Clay, I guess. So. Let's back out of that. Let's try Marvin Bagley and Mo Bamba together and see what that could get me. We're going to get Buddy Heald back. We'll have Tobias Harris. I actually do want to move Tobias Harris. Uh, we can get Laurie Markkinen, which isn't terrible, I guess. 
Kuzma would be nice as well, but not really a spot up. Uh, Jeremy Grant would be a nice fit as well, but I think I might get Markkinen, but instead of trading uh, Mo Bamba and Marvin Bagley, I think I'll just grab Markkinen, and we'll move LeBron James to point guard now. I'm committed. So we get Laurie Markkinen, and then we'll move uh, Tobias Harris back to small forward, and LeBron James will move to point guard. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. So basically, we're going to need to resign Buddy Heald in a second, but uh, Miles Bridges and Mo Bamba. I have so many young players I could trade. It's crazy. So I'm just going to keep looking real quick. Now we need a center. Uh, obviously, Brooke Lopez comes to mind as the perfect fit. Jarrett Allen is a nice defender. I might get Jarrett Allen, honestly. Miles Turner. I actually like the idea of Miles Turner. I think that might be the move, guys. We're going to go Miles Turner. Miles Turner. Let's get Miles Turner. I wasn't even thinking. And we'll get a first round pick out of it. So I wasn't even thinking Miles Turner, to be honest with you. But the fact that he popped up is awesome. So Miles Turner, Mark in Tobias Harris. LeBron James, the point guard, and yeah, that's a nice starting five. A nice starting five that's going to fit also very nicely around LeBron James. So let's go ahead and re-sign Buddy Heald, and um, then let's retool the bench. So Buddy Heald, where are you, my friend? We're going to go ahead and get you back, and then let's go find some bench players. P.J. Tucker would be nice, you know, here, but I think he might go down overall, so I think we'll stay away from that. But uh, Yaka Pertle is going to be a nice backup center, so let's get uh, Buddy Heald and Yaka Pertle back. Which should be what do you mean buddy Heal? no he is not going anywhere you got to be kidding me so buddy Heal will be back and then uh what do we so we got basically uh one two three four five uh wait let me recount that one i was counting because lebron james is going to be here but so one two three four five six so basically i kind of need a little bit more so Probably need a backup shooting guard badly, which I should be able to find easily. Just a nice shooting guard who can shoot off the bench should be great. So I think that's what I'll do. Bren Forbes or Dodson is like perfect. So we're going to go Bren Forbes, I think. We'll get Bren Forbes and then we'll get, uh, who else can we get? Davis Bertans off the bench would be nice as well, but I don't think I can afford him. Torrey Craig, uh, Pat Connington, Etwan Moore. Etwan Moore can't play small forward, so I don't want to get him. Uh, Myers Leonard, I know can play the four, so we're going to get Myers Leonard. And I think that's all I'm going to do, guys. So, uh, actually, no, we're going to lose Myers Leonard. So, go Kim Noah. Zaza. So, I guess I'll get Jared Dudley or Tory Craig. I guess I'll sign Tory Craig. But other than that, guys, I think I've, you know, talked enough here. We'll just get one more player. I don't know who I'm going to get yet, but I've talked enough here. So, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of next season. Show you guys the rotation at the end. And we're going to see how this team's going to do. At the end of the season, LeBron James is your most valuable player. LaMelo Ball is your rookie of the year. Sixth man of the year goes to Ricky Rubio on the Suns. Defensive player of the year goes to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Montrezl Sterling is your most improved. And Trent Peterson is your coach of the year. So we went 56-26. LeBron James, the king of the league, also on the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But All-NBA first team for LeBron James. All-NBA second team. All-NBA third team. And all defense first team. Do we get Miles Turner anywhere? We do not. Miles Turner is slept on for defense. But we are the first seed in the Western Conference. If we can win a championship, man, with this team, I will feel satisfied. I will feel like I made the complete, utter challenge. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now at this point. I'm just basically trying to say I will feel complete on NBA 2K19. But look, Tobias Harris with 20, 19 for uh, Buddy Yield, and 17 for Lauren Market. And so Miles Turner with 10. About six and two blocks. So yeah, not too shabby at all. Forbes did his thing off the bench, but it all doesn't matter unless we can win a championship. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round. They jumped up 1-0 on us, but that's not going to matter because 2-1, 3-1, and can we beat them in five? We do. And now we're facing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Actually, we should have seen what the Thunder were even looking like because as we all know, we did a fantasy draft. KD is back on the Thunder. Thunder fans, how do you feel about that? Let me know down in the comment section below. Timberwolves, Embiid, and John Wall. If John Wall was still really good when he comes back, that might be a nice duo, but we'll see. But hopefully we can take him down. We're up 1-0 to start. 2-0. 3-0. And can we sweep? 3-1. Please beat them. 4-1. All right, so that's good. And now we're facing... The Portland Trailblazers, who do have Giannis Antetokounmpo. We're up 2-0, uh, 3-0, and we're going to sweep. And just like that, we are in the NBA Finals, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see what the... Okay, so let's see what the Blazers look like overall, though, real quick. They had Giannis, Drummond, Bledsoe, TJ Warren, Kobe White. So, yeah, I mean, definitely a good team. But 
We're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can beat the Indiana Pacers. Hopefully, we can beat them. Let's see what they're looking like first. I think I will make this the last season because if we're going to win a championship, we're facing Anthony Davis as well. If we're going to win a championship, I'm just going to end it here. But I will jump in and get some gameplay. I will do that because that might, you know, just be the perfect ending. So let's see. We're up 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 3-1. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to SimCast now. And hopefully we can jump in an elimination game with about two minutes or so left. And uh, we can take it from there. So let's go ahead and stop simulation and go slow. Whoa, I'm going way too fast. Let me go to uh, medium. Let's uh, medium. Let's go medium speed. And let's get to two minutes real quick. And then I'll probably jump in at around like two to one minute. So uh, it is a close game. So I'm going to jump in now. All right, so we're going to jump in, play the last minute and 30 seconds, and finish this off. And this will be our way of saying goodbye to 2K19 guys so we are in the game uh we have the lead by four points so as long as i don't blow this everything should be great so let's gonna go ahead and just yeah i mean i i'm with the greatest player in the league right now in lebron james so yeah i'm definitely expecting just blow this team out of the water uh as far as uh finishing this team off uh i'm gonna try to steal the ball from fred van believe that's not gonna work i'm gonna try to get it down to ad as long as we don't do anything crazy ad is gonna post up all right so you know they're still uh Still have a chance here, but I'm going to go back to pick and roll and just spam LeBron, I think. just That's the safest way to make sure I win this championship. Uh, actually, I was just trying to do something that didn't work at all. I'm going to try to get Buddy healed in the corner. Can I get that three? No. Uh, contested. So, okay. As long as I don't mess this up too much. Uh, let's gonna go. Okay, let's stop. All right, that's a block. Let's go. Another block? Yeah, let's go. And now it's going out of bounds. All right, so that's good. All right, so now 51 seconds left. Indiana calls a timeout. Of course they do. They probably want to discuss some things. No, don't blame them. No, they're going to try to come back from a 3-1 deficit. It's not going to happen. You know, they still have 51 seconds to do it. So it's not like it's out of, you know, it's impossible. But LeBron James with 34 points and 27 and a half game, uh, points uh, per game this season. He is obviously still feasting it up at the age of like 35, 36. Um, they're going to try to get to AD, of course, because he's, ooh, that's a wide open three. I just let that happen in my face. All right, so I gotta, I definitely gotta lock in now. Let's go. LeBron James, I'm just gonna take it to the hole, man. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, dude. Get out of my way. It's funny because, like, I literally have choked, like, everything I've done when jumping into 2K19. And if this is the way that I can finally finish it off right, I have to have LeBron James to do it. Just funny. I don't know. It's just funny to me, but Sacramento. Uh, just called it or Indiana called another timeout. So let's just go ahead and skip over that and now Let's go ahead and finish this team off man. Fred Van Vliet hit a nice three in our face I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try not to let that happen again. So uh, We're on Lance Stevenson who's back in Indiana CSB would be happy. He's probably smiling somewhere, but uh, I thought I was Carmelo for a second I'm like when did I get Carmelo on my team? Ooh, AD Nice defense marketing nice defense. Let's go ahead. Give it to Tobias Harris. They're gonna go for the intentional foul all right, so that's basically going to be game, I think. Obviously, we're going to shoot these free throws. And I got another timeout. But while I'm shooting these free throws, I do want to say 2K19 did treat me good. I know I had some, I, there was some down spots to it. There's times I actually didn't even want to do YouTube anymore. But, man, I pushed through it. Uh, and it's just been great, man. 2K19 was good. It ended good. Uh, you guys were amazing. Your support's been amazing. And I really do truly love you guys. You guys, like, literally mean the world to me. And I'm just so excited for 2K20, new platform and new ways to, you know, entertain you guys. So uh, I definitely plan on doing a, quite a bit in 2K20. I'm going to try to do this new series that I don't think has ever been done in, you know, in a My League format. So I'm going to try to do that. It's going to be kind of like a, a multiple episode series. So like, you know, kind of like a MyGM, but it technically won't be a MyGM. I'm not going to do something like that. But uh, I'm going to try to hit this three buddy heal. And no. Okay. So it won't be a my GM or anything. I'm going to do realistic rebuilds and uh, you no know, fantasy rebuilds as well. Because I know there's a lot of you that love realistic and some of you that just love fantasy. But nonetheless, I'm going to be grinding 2K20. I plan on not missing an upload at all by the, like my goal when I made that community tab post was set. I said, well, let's try not to miss an upload at all. Like, so like, let's finish this year without missing an upload. That's still my goal just because I want to grind and hit 10k by the end of the year. That is literally my goal. But other than that, guys, we're going to end it here because we did just win a championship. Very happy. Nate McMillan is congratulating Buddy Healed. I really do love you guys. Thank you so much for the support on 2K19. Here's the 2K20, and hopefully 
It's a good one. But this crushables, and I'm saying peace.